Phantom has been booming in the past several weeks. Andre Kronje came back and then they have really cool plans for the future such as gas monetization, gas subsidies, account abstraction and then they're building their own Phantom virtual machine to process transactions faster and at a larger scale. So there's a lot of cool stuff going on for Phantom and if you want to know more I made a video a while ago on Phantom so you can check out here. And if you invested in Phantom recently you know that the best place to store your investment is on the cold storage as I always say. So that can be Trezor or maybe Ledger, whatever cold storage you choose. And by the way if you want to get your Ledger device I'm going to leave the link down in the description this is going to be official uh, ledger.com link that you can use and they ship it from France don't use any uh, eBay or Amazon uh, ledgers because they can be a scam and you might get a ledger with already that, that will give you the pin number and you won't even get the seed phrase so they already have the seed phrase and the moment you deposit your funds there it's going to be gone. So don't purchase your ledger on any other websites except for the official ledger.com uh, website and again link in the description. So once you get it or if you already have it let me actually show you how you can store your phantom on your ledger. So we're in my ledger live right now and the first thing that you want to do you want to go to accounts and you want to go and click add account and I'm going to search for phantom. Once you found that, you're going to click Phantom and you're going to click Continue. And it's going to ask you to open the Ethereum app on your device. And the reason they're asking you to open Ethereum app is uh, I guess they finally made it work the same way MetaMask does because uh, Phantom is an EVM compatible network, meaning that it's compatible with Ethereum virtual machine. So basically all the chains such as Phantom, BNB, Avalanche, uh, all the other EVM compatible networks are going to share the same public and private address. So they finally found a way, even though I know that they're working on the separate Phantom app where you would go to my ledger and uh, right, right here and you would have to add Phantom app. And right now it's only available in developer options. Uh, and I don't know what's the reasoning behind this because you can already see your Phantom uh, network account here through uh, Ethereum app. So I'm not sure what, what they're going to do with it. But for now, in order for you to add, you can actually add it on Ethereum app. So don't let yourself get confused. This is uh, how it works, the same way it works in MetaMask. So what you're going to do, you're going to go to your ledger and you're going to open Ethereum app. And as you can see, I already have my Phantom right here. Uh, I have one Phantom account that I was using even before this was available because I was using connection with MetaMask where you can see a bunch of your crypto uh, that are EVM compatible. And if you want to know how to do this, I made a video a while ago. And if you want to understand in general how this works, uh, I'm going to drop uh, the link somewhere around here. I don't remember the name of the video, uh, but if I'll find it, I'll drop it right over here. So once you found your account, if you have an account, it's going to say add existing account. If you don't have an account, you can add a new account. I'm going to use the same one because it's the same address as for all of my primary uh, accounts on all the EVM compatible networks. So I'm going to click add account and it's going to say account added successfully. After that, you're going to click done. And if you click on it, you can see that this is your phantom on your phantom network and you can see your balance. You can also do send and receive. So now let's say you want to send it off a centralized exchange such as Coinbase or Gemini. What you can do, you can click receive, you can click continue and you can copy this address and paste it if you're on the desktop version of let's say Coinbase or if you're on a mobile phone, you can just click show QR code. You can open your app, Gemini or Coinbase or whatever other app you're using. You can scan the address and send it off the centralized exchange to your ledger device to store it securely. And that was it for this video. I hope you enjoyed it. There was a simple tutorial to help you guys store your phantom on your cold storage such as ledger device. So if you enjoyed it, please give it a thumbs up to help YouTube algorithm. And if you want to see more stuff like this, please subscribe to my channel down below and I'll see you all guys in the next one.